Well, that would explain why I'm feeling so cold. Happy Christmas! Remember to drink water. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming to you live from my sofa, as usual, radiator in the background. I'm just at the end of an edit. Maddie is, Maddie's gone to the gym. I can't remember if I said she got a gym membership. They had one of those deals where it's really cheap to the end of the year, I guess, because this time of year, no one's really going to the gym. They're just staying at home. So she's off there. I'm editing. I've just finished my breakfast. We've got an exciting day ahead of sitting inside and then maybe going outside. Maddie got another package from Royal Mail that's been taken, I think we're in London. We weren't here so we got taken back to the office again. We've been trying desperately to wake up at 7 a.m. every day for the past week. But it is difficult when you wake up and your phone says minus three degrees because it can be very hard to get out of bed. Fortunately, I have located my long johns which I used to use at university in Scotland because in that flat I could see my own breath in bed and I used to wear a dressing gown, no I used to wear a onesie, a t-shirt, long johns, a jumper and a onesie to bed and very occasionally a hat if I needed to because that's just how cold it got. So you can kind of see outside, look how it's such a beautiful day outside every day here in Brighton pretty much. But it comes at a price, and that price is really cold temperatures compared to other places in the south of England. Yeah, so the new regime. New regime is basically, we'll be getting up at seven, give or take, getting these videos done, whether it's Vlogmas or whether it's vlogs in the future, getting them done before 12, because I think that is a responsible adult thing to do. So I can actually go out and do stuff in the day because it is hard being cooped up inside sometimes. And it's not fun when the only time you leave the flat is to go to Tesco or to go and get your car or something. It is a shame about the cold temperatures though, because I didn't really fancy a gym membership. The only option really is to go for a jog, which I don't really enjoy, or to go cycling on this guy. Oh, there you are. But when it's minus three degrees, I'm not doing that. I cycled last week when it was seven degrees and that was fine, but another minus 10 and I can't. It's too cold. You'll all be pleased to see a lovely washed sheets. Mmm. You smell that? Mmm. I actually bought a, a king size fitted sheet from Sainsbury's and it fitted on the European King, which is supposed to be 10 centimeters wider. What's that like? Uh, 10 centimeters, four inches? Four inches, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that sounds right. Possibly because it's memory foam. So the mattress isn't quite as thick as sort of a regular mattress would be. And some of you gave some recommendations in the comments a few days ago. I think we'll be looking into that to get a second duvet cover, that's the word. And with that, we could regularly wash our sheets. Wouldn't that be something? And now I'm gonna go finish this edit before Maddie gets back from the gym, hopefully. Hopefully, but unlikely. Bye now. Ah, I literally feel revitalized because I just went to Pilates and it was the best class I've ever been to in a gym in my life. I literally felt so calm and so wonderful afterwards. It was incredible. And the whole experience was so lovely. I've been to Pilates classes before and the instructor obviously wasn't as good or wasn't as aware of Pilates as this guy was, but it was so yoga focused, so breathing focused and, um, that makes me think I really want to do yoga now at this place as well, because if that was good, because Pilates is like yoga, but then also it's got movements involved to sort of tone your body. Um, but it was just so relaxing and oh, like I was feeling really stressed. I've been feeling really stressed recently, uh, work related stress, and it just calmed me down so much. And I feel so good and I've just showered and I put on new clothes. I got these clothes from Everlane, got this lovely pink jumper and these 
track pants, what do you call them, sweatpants. They're so comfortable and fresh and I just showered and I just feel like a new person. So yeah, and also the walk back from the gym along the seafront was just beautiful. So it's, it's incredible what can change in a day. If you're feeling rubbish, how much can change in a day if you just do something to make yourself feel better or even just it's a new day and you just feel better. The sun will always rise. So yeah, I feel so good. And Alex is trying hard to edit faster. I think I'm doing all right today. I just got to the bit where we edited the... You know, I filmed some dinner last night. Yeah. And the lighting in that kitchen at night time yeah. is like yellow. Yeah. So I was saying, I'm going to start, try to start filming lunch more if yeah. I'm going to film anything. Cause then it Tell me about it. I actually make recipe videos yeah, yeah. in that That's light. Gonna make. There's like a short window. Any YouTuber who make. makes recipes or films, it's so difficult when it's winter because there's just not enough light. But Alex is going to help me for the rest of today to film. And they are dinner recipes, but I'm going to have to film them in the day. Yeah, because I'm doing a uh, vegan recipe video that will be coming soon. So look out for that. And I'm excited to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so since we did that shop last night, we got this big ciabatta. This size it was. And since it was, then, it was. This size it was. It was this big, it was. Yeah, we haven't had any sandwiches. Me and Maddie, well, mainly me. I take full credit. We pretty much devoured the whole thing. But I think that's the way forward, is to go to Tesco in the evening when they're reducing all their bread, because it'll be like 10p. And then what did I have it with? With the mayo maize. I've been having it with some hummus. And I've been having it, whoa, I'm up close. I found a use for these, finally. These oils, or some of the vinegars we've had. Do you reckon we'll finish it, like now? Yeah, go for it. Like with each slice, I'm getting thinner and thinner and thinner to try and keep it for longer. The scaffolding's coming down next door. That'll be us one day. Maddie has cruelly interrupted my editing. Have you got a key? Do you have a key? I'm key. Key. <laughs> key. 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 <laughs> this is a key, yeah, this one works. We have to go out and get ingredients for some stupid video. <laughs> that was a hearty lunch of bread and mayonnaise and okay. oil. Oh! It was very slippy, there's lots of ice. Yeah. ice. Like, I, I ran to the gym this morning because I was late, so. Oh, more ice, watch out. I had to run and I was like. Ice it's kind of like extra cardio. <laughs> like a warm up basically. We ordered some nutritional yeast on Amazon yesterday, but for some reason with Prime it's not coming till two or three days after. So Manny's popping into Tesco to pick up some supplies for that video and I'm running to Holland and Barrett. And that is the only thing you're buying in Holland and Barrett. If you come back with anything else, have have I'm words with you. Getting because, loads of cheese and bacon. No, because we went shopping yesterday and I kind of forgot that we were going home next week. Yeah. How much did you bring? Money. Well, I got my card. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot that we were going home next week, and um, therefore we're going to have loads of leftover food. So we can't buy any more food because we've already got way too much food. No. We're going to have to freeze lots of it and bring it with us because it's going to go off, and I hate wasting food. It'll be fine. Alex is an idiot. I went to Holland and Barrett. Realised I forgot my card. So we kind of had to go together. Yeah, so the whole All point... that time savings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, they have nutritional yeast though, and I've got all the stuff from Tesco that I needed. Yeah. Cashews are the most expensive thing ever. They're six pounds for 500 grams. That's so much money. But they last forever. They do last a long time, and they do make a good mac and cheese. All right, tell them what you found. Oh yeah, there's um, a cruelty-free... Sorry, bus. There's a cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free salon, Samuel Chapman, just down the street from us. Like, I was looking at one in town. I really need a haircut. And also there's the problem if you're doing no poo, that the products they use, or if you're vegan, the products they use aren't vegan or cruelty-free. And also the products they use have sulfate and paraben. So the last time I had my um, haircut, I had to get it just sprayed down with water, which is fine, it actually saves some money. But you don't get that whole salon experience where you have your hair washed and blow dried and um, well I probably wouldn't have it blow dried but um, yeah it's kind of nice to have your head washed it's my favourite part because you get like a massage um, so yeah that's really great and also the fact it's cruelty free and it's down around the corner I was going to do it at, um, at home but I think I'll wait to go to that one in the new year I'm 
I'm sure it also said it was organic on the sign. It did, yeah. I'm not sure which bits are organic. Oh but... gosh, we just picked the right place to live, haven't we? <laughs> that won't get me Alex, that don't impress me much. <laughs> so what, Brad Pitt? That don't impress me much. Are you quite finished? Yeah. No, it's way. I need oh, to listen wait. to that when we get home now. So we also found a, a bamboo... I was actually talking about this. What a coincidence! I was talking about this just before. We're talk, uh, we need a new king-size duvet cover. Yeah. And they had a bamboo one in Holland and Barrett for half price. Yeah, it was a good deal. I just need to think about it because it's Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on a budget. So I need to think about it first. So we'll go back yeah. if we want to get it. They didn't have matching pillowcases or sheets. So that kind of makes people like, mm. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> it does me. The sun's already dipped behind the buildings. It's a race against time to film this video. When I say this video, I mean Maddie's video. What time is it exactly? Two twenty-six, and the sun is going behind the buildings. This is the mac and cheese we made. I made. I helped. I supervised. This meal never gets old. So it's three o'clock. <laughs> Maddie's taking. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> It's three o'clock. Would you class this as lunch or some kind of lunch dinner hybrid? It's dinner. That's what I was going to ask because we have brunch. Is that is it dinner mm -hmm. or is it dunch? No. Or it's maybe dinner. maybe you don't call it dinner. Well, it's not breakfast, is it? But in the north of England, a lot of them call lunch dinner, and then what no, do they that's have? Not a and then they have thing. and then they have tea. They do that in Cornwall too. That's Co like, like, a, like a rural thing, like a. Rural, yeah. What well, you have breakfast, dinner, then tea. Mm. So you can Lots have... Lots of people I think in like the countryside say that. So you have tinner. Like they say that in Cornwall. They'll probably say it up in the north in the countryside. Like, like farmers and stuff. So which is it? Dinner? Linner? Tinner? D? <laughs> dunch? Supper? What if you call it supper? Like I was weird in school. Lupper? Dupper? I was the odd one out in school for calling my dinner dinner. Because everyone in my school called... Because <clears throat> I went to school in Cornwall. And most people in my school had lived in Cornwall, been born in Cornwall. So their family referred to dinner as tea and lunch as dinner. So I'd say, oh, I'm really, I really want some dinner or I really want some lunch or whatever, it would get confusing. I'd be like, when's dinner? If I'd go around to a friend's house and they'd be like, what do you mean we've had dinner? Oh. <laughs> it's confusing. Whereas you won't have had that because you grew up in Surrey. No, we had afternoon tea and supper. <laughs> I don't mean to, I worry that someone will find this offensive, but I grew up in Cornwall. I just was born Maddie. in Surrey. But if I'd been born in Cornwall, I probably would have said dinner and tea. Well, I've had a pen. That's in really interesting, not at all. Oh, look how it stains the plates though, because the turmeric. Mm. But it's so good, this recipe, and you have to stay tuned. It's coming out in a few weeks. Thanks for your help, Alex. It's all right. This is the man behind all of the photography on my Instagram and all of the filming, well, a lot of the filming on my recipe videos, like the filming on my uh, beauty hacks video. You're actually really quite good. Yeah. I've like trained him. If it weren't for me. You'd have nothing. <laughs> You're so helpful though. And like, even my friend who's a photographer messaged me when we were in Thailand saying, oh, Alex has given me a run for my money because you're getting good. Well, I'll put the photo, the great photo I took, I'll put it here. Which one is that? The one in Bali, by the swimming pool. Oh yeah, that was so beautiful. That was the lighting. It was so gorgeous. Uh, I think it was my photography. Yeah, it was your photography. And you, I mean, I helped you pick the uh, lighting and I always set the shots up for you. Yeah. But you're getting really Generally. good. I press the button. So I did have one casualty while swimming. This is a brand new jumper, pale pink, reasonably expensive. Mm. And uh, well, not expensive, but like. <clears throat> More expensive than you would normally. Yeah, it's like 40 pounds, I think. Is that, was it 40 pounds? It was oh. in dollars, so I don't even know. But um, yeah, somehow credit. I got like paprika on it. And I don't know how I did that. I shouldn't have been cooking in it really, should I? Only like, you could do that. Spices and like turmeric and paprika. I to a brand new jumper. I'm wondering, it's a mountain thing. Let's have a look over here. Soaking immediately. Normally gets it out. Unless it's like permanent ink. You should yeah. get it out. Let's have a look. But you can always wash it. No, look, I can still see it. Um, spices are the worst. I because spices really. used to be used, it's wet, that's why you can't see it. But spices used to be used to dye things. So that's where the kind of problem lies. Well. I will be so mad if I've managed to stain it's like the first new thing I've bought in so long. And I guess if this happens, then it's a message to me to go back to buy a second hand, because if I get stains on it, 
I won't care because it cost me five pounds. I'll soak it again and then we can wash it later because I've got a wash to put on. You don't want to know where that scrubby brush has been, Maddie. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> Hi. Look what came in the post. Oh, they told me it was coming on Thursday. <laughs> oh my god. And the worst part, the worst part is that I, did you tell them I was waiting for delivery? No, not yet. So at half three, um, I got a text message saying that somebody tried to deliver my package and I need this package to film a video tomorrow. And I was like, oh no, I need that package. So I rang them and they were like, oh, he's still in the area, he'll re-deliver it. And that was like three hours ago. And I rang them again and they said, oh, they do actually still, they sometimes deliver up until like 6, 7 p.m. So just wait, I'm sure he'll come back. And he hasn't come back yet and it's six o'clock. So I'm just now thinking, is he actually gonna come back? And then this came to the door and I was like, yay, the package has arrived, yay, woo, and I ran over there. And then it said Alex and I was like, oh, I want my package. This is good too. <laughs> And now we have eight yeah. tubs of nutrition that we I'm use. I'm not complaining, it did say Thursday. I'm kind of impressed because I ordered yeah. this at like 11 p.m. Yeah, that's night. good. That's really that's good. That's so weird. Yeah, um, we need to figure out our um, buzzer system because I think that's what's causing the problem with delivery men missing us. Yeah. So yeah, because we were in and the windows were open and um, everything, but he probably just went to the front door, not the, they didn't, didn't come inside, but anyway. At least we've got loads of nutritional yeast. Yeah, that will last us a whole lease. Time to clean this mess up. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. Maddie said she's going to eat my mac and cheese. <laughs> and what do I come in I to like see? <laughs> I'm not, I'm stirring it around for you because you haven't mixed it. You said you had and you lied. I mixed it, wouldn't I? Oh, whatever. You lied. I don't have to debate with you. It's not mixed in. Listen to that noise, isn't that the worst noise in the world? I kind of don't mind that noise. That noise is great. Noises you hate, I don't mind. Like this one. Oh, stop it! <laughs> so you think that mac and cheese is better than the one we had in the diner? Honestly. Yeah, honestly. I don't exaggerate when I say I could eat this Alex, all day. What is this? Is this tea or is this coffee? Can please some, somebody in the comments tell me, does that look like a cup of coffee or does that look like a cup of tea? How many times? It's a strong, hearty tea. I love you, but you do not make good tea. I like tea that looks like tea, not coffee. You did it for my mum the other day. Yeah. She was like, thank you, Alex, it's really nice, but please can I have some more milk in it? <laughs> you both, you like tea flavoured milk, don't you? Here you are, just pour the rest into that cup. Thank you. This is gonna go wrong. That's not like it. Although I don't know what to do now because it's too hot, I can't drink it, and now it's really full. I'd get it away from the expensive electronics. <clears throat> ah. Your mum's going to enjoy watching this part. Well, you have it. Take it, next away. To... <laughs> Take it away from me, I can't move. All right. Put the camera down. Yeah, but I could really eat that all day. It's something I always crave and it's so easy to make. What? Why do you think it's better? Cause, is it because it's more, I think it's because it's, more mac and cheesy, it's... whereas the one we had at the diner was like an Alfredo sauce with mac and cheese. Yeah, vibes. I can't explain. The sauce was better on this one because it has like a bit of mustard powder and a little bit of spice. More flavour. It's got a bit of a kick and a flavour. Yeah. Yeah. It's more flavourful, more spice. And it's excellent in a sandwich as well. Yeah, the oh, seasoning. Oh yeah, it is good in the toasty. Yeah. You have leftovers and it's like dried up a bit, put it in the toasty with some mayonnaise. I mean, I essentially have eaten this all day. Apart from this, I've eaten Porridge and mayonnaise on bread. Why did you have mayonnaise on bread? What's wrong because with you? Because it's really good. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Oh no, no, I don't think that mayonnaise. We ate the whole ciabatta in case we didn't make that clear earlier. Sure, I don't actually mind vegan mayonnaise because it doesn't taste too eggy. I hate mayonnaise usually because I have a fear of prepackaged sandwiches. When I was younger, I hated uh, tomatoes uh, and I hated mayonnaise because yeah. they were always in every single sandwich. I can understand that. That was in an episode of Mad Men the other day and it was so horrible. Right, we had to wait. Card run out. Yeah, we had to change the camera. I wonder if this lighting looks any different on this, probably. Maddie's Tesco should sponsor us. They should sponsor us. Uh, please sponsor us, I beg you, please. Pay for all of our groceries for the future. Yeah. I'm aware that all the time in these vlogs I look horrible. Or from this angle you look better. I literally am always in a dressing gown or I'm like wrapped up looking like... We have received 
some comments about the fact that we don't do very much, but you have to take into account, not, not that I'm actually like addressing this because I think it is ridiculous, but you have to take into account that we've moved and like we're just figuring our life out. Like we've literally the first time ever moved into our own apartment together. We're both self-employed and we're figuring that out. So we don't actually have a lot of time to vlog or do fun things, but in the new year and when things start to get settled, like I'm feeling a lot more like I'm finding a routine now. Things will get a bit more exciting. It's just for now that, you know, our days aren't the most exciting because we do spend a lot of our day at our laptops working. Mm. And I'm planning lots of videos and getting back into the swing of things. So not that I think we should apologize or make excuses for it, but just so you know, vloggers lives are much more complex than what you see on this video, these mm. videos. I want to put this camera down so I can eat my mac and cheese. Okay, good night, bye. Good night, bye. <laughs>